Judy, where were you raised? I was raised in Los Angeles, in East Los Angeles, actually, Boyle Heights, mm -hmm. East LA, man. <laughs> <laughs> so talk about some of the mindset that your parents instilled in terms of work ethic and creativity. Uh, my parents were both artists. Uh, not successful artists, because we were living in East L.A., obviously, they weren't that successful. And they had to work at other day jobs. But my father was a photographer, and my mother was a writer and a songwriter. And they gave all their children, there were four of us, intense music lessons and dance lessons for me and my sister. And when I started to show some ability in theater, they encouraged me to go into the theater. And they had very high standards. And we were trained classically. So we were not trained to do anything uh, in the pop vein. They looked down their noses at anything that was pop oriented. Um, so we all had very classical training. And it, it left an impact on me. And, you know, when I would do anything that wasn't up to my mother's standards, she, she, would, she would be very, um, very quietly critical and say, is that the best you can do? Oh, <laughs> you know. So uh, the goals and the standards that were set for us were very high. And I think that's why I choose to do these kind of documentaries that are sort of large in scope, that have a kind of a classical approach to them that hopefully will last and have some kind of impact because of that training that I was given. What did you also witness from your parents about, I guess you'd call it the artistic struggle in terms of holding those day jobs, but really your heart was somewhere else? Well, I knew that, that the world was very hard for them. It was very hard because emotionally and artistically, their passions were stilted by circumstance. I mean, they had four children. They were, they themselves were products of the depression. Um, their, their parents were um, foreign born. They were first generation American, both of them. And they, I think they felt that part of what they had to do in life was carve a better future for their children. And they did that. All my brothers and sisters are all in the arts. We have all sustained ourselves as artists. And we're still trying to prove something to our parents, but we're grateful to them too.